What's up, everybody? I'm going to be reviewing Pepsi Nitro. It's kind of new. It's been out, I don't know, a couple months or so. But um, I'll tell you guys what I think about it. Wow, did you hear that? That's quite a... It's, it's quite an opening sound. So the first thing I noticed, let's see if I could get this on camera, just like a little extra, oh, where's it? I can't show. A little extra foam, looks a little bit more foamy than normal soda. And you already heard, it was like, it's not like your normal sound of opening a soda, I don't know, it was like, like a rocket engine or something, so. It smells like normal Pepsi, because that's just the, um, um, the syrup, you know, that's just the syrup smell. I don't really think you smell the carbonation. I don't know, but let's give it a try. Mm. All foam. My first sip was all foam. Huh. Like how in regular soda, let me show you this can. The can looks nice. In regular, you know, say Pepsi with regular carbonation, uh, carbon dioxide, not nitrogen the carbon dioxide mixes with the, the liquid. And so, you know, it's just one thing with this, it feels like it's separate. Like it almost seems like the, the nitrogen bubbles are at top. And yeah. Like the carbonation is separate. Like it's not mixing, I guess like beer. I think that's what it's, I think beer uses nitrogen, um, for its, you know, carbonation, <laughs> Nitri nitronation. And so, you know how like the foam on the beer is at the top of the beer, not mixed in. On soda, it's a little bit like on top, but a lot of it's mixed in. This is like beer where it's like all on top. So anyhow, so yeah, you taste a lot of foam at first. So you're just like, I'm just drinking like sweet nitrogen, basically. I don't know what to, I don't know what to think. Very like frothy, but I don't know if it's like a good, it's almost like when you have a shake, you know, like an ice cream shake and the, um, the whipped cream on top. And, you know, sometimes like say you were just, instead of using a straw, you were to drink the shake, you get a lot of whipped cream in your mouth. That's what it feels like. Like I feel like I'm getting a lot of the nitrogen whipped cream in my mouth. I don't know what to rate it. Um, it's definitely different than regular Pepsi. Mm. Wow, I don't know how to rate it. It's definitely different. Like if even if you did a blind taste test, I think I think you can definitely tell the difference. I don't know. It just tastes like the Pepsi syrup. I would rate this out of. One to ten, one being bad, ten being good. On a soda scale, on a soda scale, six. I would rate it six out of ten stars. I think I like regular Pepsi better. Regular, you know, carbon dioxide, um, uh, carbonation, not nitrogen, nation. So. Yeah, I would give this about a 6 out of 10. I don't know. It almost tastes like you're just tasting a lot of the syrup. Because now, now the froth is like gone. So I'm just drinking, well, I mean, it's not completely gone. It's less. But I feel like I'm kind of just drinking the syrup. So you know how when you sometimes you get flat soda. But I don't want to say it tastes totally flat, but like kind of flat. That's what it tastes like, like slightly flat soda. I don't think it's going to be a big hit. I really don't think it's going to be a hit, big hit. Anyhow, nitrogen, Pepsi. I love the color of the can. You know, they did great with that. You know, for those of you who don't know, who are you not in the United States, let's see if you could get this in here, if you could see the ingredients. I don't know if you could see that. But anyhow, so I'm going to just read a couple ingredients. So the first ingredient is water, which is going to be the same, regardless of where in the world you buy Pepsi. But the second ingredient... You can see it is high fructose corn syrup 
which I hate. In other countries, it would be sugar, or maybe glucose or something like that. But in the United States, um, they you pick up any pretty much any can of soda, and it's going to have high fructose corn syrup instead of <coughs> sugar for the sweetener. And it's because, this is kind of a long story, but I'm just going to shorten it. Uh, corn is subsidized in the United States by the government. So corn is really cheap. And so things made from corn, like corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, is also really cheap. So it's cheaper for them soda companies to use high fructose corn syrup than real sugar. And that's why in the United States, you'll see in a lot of, not just soda, and like juices and a lot of drinks in the United States, they use high fructose corn syrup which I hate, I'm not gonna get all into that, but like, I think, and I think I heard from a doctor before that, uh, you know, your liver or your kidneys or something like that doesn't digest it like it would um, normal sugar. It's just, it's not good for you at all. So I really don't drink drinks that have high fructose corn syrup, but this was new, I wanted to try it. It's okay, like I said, six out of 10. Definitely would not buy it again, would not buy it again. If I wanted a Pepsi, I would just get a regular Pepsi. So, there it is.